Hello guys, welcome back to Liftoff. Today, we are going to discuss the progress of the SpaceX rocket building. How and why SpaceX builds Starship so quickly. So be ready for this extremely informative journey and let's get started. Elon Musk said, I want to make rockets a hundred times, if not a thousand times better. Because the ultimate objective is to make humanity a multi-planetary species. In the last four months of December 2020 and March 2021, SpaceX had built and launched four Starship prototypes, SN8, SN9, SN10 and SN11, on high altitude flight tests. This has never been seen before from Falcon 1 to recent Starship prototypes, like SN11, and prepared for the next Starship prototypes, SN15, SN16 and SN20. SpaceX has been making rockets at an unprecedented speed. So, how does SpaceX build Starships so quickly? To get the answer for this, we have come to the four secrets behind SpaceX building Starships so quickly. Number one, SpaceX has abundant funding. When it comes to rocket making, the first major stumbling block is obtaining money. It is impossible to tell if SpaceX is profitable because the company is privately owned, so the books aren't available for inspection. Most analysts, on the other hand, agree that SpaceX must be making money by now. SpaceX has $4.2 billion in contracts from NASA alone, and its recent success is cracking the defense contract business. Breaking the United Launch Alliance's military monopoly means more capital. All of this is on top of SpaceX's private satellite launch contracts, giving it a total of 60 launches at a value of around $7 billion. That is a lot of money for a company whose key selling point is that it can launch satellites for a third of the price of the competition, freeing up a lot of cash for sales in comparison. The Falcon, which was recently launched, cost roughly $500 million to develop, while the space launch system has spent $4.8 billion. There is also a lot of talk about when and if Elon Musk will go public, and Wall Street is hoping he will. To achieve his goals and build a city on Mars, Musk has recently shocked the world when he sold all of the properties he owns to fund his space project. Such a decision shows how Musk is sure and confident to get his dream. Number 2. Saving Money As we mentioned earlier, SpaceX launches satellites for a third of the price of the competition. Now, that is because of their smart material selection, besides SpaceX's rockets are reusable as well. Almost all large rockets have used aluminium, titanium or some kind of carbon composite. In our history of space exploration, this was also supposed to be the case for a Starship. But at the start of 2019, SpaceX decided that stainless steel was a better option for several reasons. Starting with cost, Elon Musk describes that carbon fiber costs $135 per kilogram. But unfortunately, 35% of the material is normally lost in the construction process, meaning that each kilogram of carbon fiber that makes it onto the final rocket costs upward of $200, while stainless steel costs just $3 per kilogram. In addition, stainless steel is much more durable than carbon fiber. Elon Musk claims that aluminium and carbon fiber can withstand temperatures ranging from 150 to 180 degrees Celsius. You may be able to get it to 200 degrees Celsius. But that's actually the upper limit. Stainless steel, on the other hand, can withstand temperatures ranging from 820 to 870 degrees Celsius. This is crucial because rockets must be able to withstand extremely high and extremely low temperatures while in flight. Large tanks, unlike smaller parts, could not be produced in one piece using a forging or extrusion process. SpaceX made considerable efforts to achieve this, including the early implementation of friction stir welding for reducing the amount of inspection time required per stage with its manufacturing robots. SpaceX can now take raw material and turn out the majority of the booster stage with minimal touch labor. Another cost-reducing factor is reusability. The booster of the rocket can be used over and over again with very little effort. This is the polar opposite to all other rockets, which are all designed to be used once. This is both inefficient and costly. Next up is the construction process. The rockets are usually constructed in broad daylight in a clean environment in Boca Chica. Number three, excellent teams. When you think of a rocket, you probably imagine a big dedicated machinery that handles a lot of work. 
The starships, on the other hand, are completely opposite. The engineers at SpaceX are not only responsible for designing and maintaining the rocket, but also for designing and maintaining the rocket-making systems. In the development of Starship, prototype engineers produced a knuckle seamer or revolutionary welding tool designed to speed up Starship dome tank production and boost weld efficiency. They have also created a shielded X-ray computer to check the accuracy of their welding. The new shielded X-ray machine could save teams time by allowing them to perform weld inspections in a matter of hours. Next is the iterative design process of SpaceX. Basically, iterative design is a product or process creation technique focused on a cyclic process of prototyping, evaluating, analyzing, and refining. Changes and refinements are made based on the results of the evaluation. The most recent version of a concept, the goal of this process is to enhance the quality and functionality of a design in the long run. Iterative design, in the case of SpaceX, includes checking the spacecraft finding potential defects, repairing them, and developing the project. From there before repeating the cycle, making errors, before you get it right, or something along those lines. SpaceX does not seek to achieve perfection on the first try, and they do not wait to make additional iterations. Before they achieve perfection, they come up with a concept, put it together as quickly as possible, and launch. If it works, great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. They don't waste too much time and manpower on the launch. Finally comes the workforce, which is one of the primary reasons why SpaceX can build Starships so quickly. Employees at SpaceX are talented because the company only hires the best and the brightest. They are clear about their goals. The rocket is being designed to assist us in reaching Mars. It will aid in increasing the rate of flight so that we can begin colonizing Mars and making spaceflight accessible to us all. With this aim in mind, every decision is taken. Besides, Elon always wants to go fast. Elon called a meeting with his staff in February 2021 at 1am to discuss how to speed up Starship production at the Boca Chica factory. His engineering team clarified that more people were needed to fill work shifts. SpaceX employed 252 employees 48 hours later, more than doubling the factory's construction staff. Number 4. Pressure about time. Musk has plans to colonize Mars during his lifetime. He conducts operations daily to build a spacecraft that could make it a reality. Musk stated during a keynote discussion at the Satellite 2020 conference, The other month, I hope I'm not dead by the time people go to Mars. If we don't improve our progress, I'm definitely going to be dead before we get there. If it's taken us 18 years just to get ready to do the first people to orbit, we've got to improve our rate of innovation, or based on past trends. Elon knows that he will not live forever, and the funds will ultimately run out. The window for spreading humanity to Mars can close one day, but Musk isn't sure when. He must squeeze through the window before it closes. And that concludes today's episode. I hope you liked the video. If you want to be updated with the latest news of space and SpaceX, subscribe, like, and share, and turn on the notifications. Thank you so much for your support. Until next time.